Hello and welcome to Construction TV's special report on aggregate production from Conexpo 2014. I'm Alan Peaford. And I'm Simon Gould. We've spent a lot of time with the major manufacturers in this sector. There's a number of issues at play. One of the major issues is driving down fuel costs. There's a move to hybrid engines, cleaner engines and even electric motors. And with that fuel cost saving in mind, I went to Atlas Copco who are explaining about new technology that they're using to drive down costs. This is our FlexiRock T45 with the, uh, the new RSP platform. We base this off a lot of different things for fuel conservation, for the speed and accuracy of drilling holes, so with less deviation at a lower cost and a higher production. On several different ways that we save fuel with this machine is, first we have the progressive drilling. So what we do with that is there's certain pressures that you need to drill holes with. And we're able to minimize the, the load on the engine through the hydraulic system with uh, different pump systems. So that we're, when, we're, when we don't need full pump pressure, we don't actually have it. So when, when ground conditions or rock conditions change, the pump system lowers the load on the percussion mechanism so that it actually slows down or increases or decreases the load. On any drilling machine, the highest load on your engine is going to be the compressor. Usually if you're drilling, you're at maximum RPM, which consumes the most amount of fuel. On this particular rig here, we don't have to maximize that RPM anymore. We actually lower it to whatever it takes to get the cuttings out of the hole. and. Uh, and by that, we actually conserve fuel up to half of what other machines are doing right now. Well, we're talking now from the Vertgen stand and where we're seeing Kleeman with some of the bigger machines that are here at the show. And Kleeman will be arguing that actually the bigger machines drives greater productivity. These are tier four final machines. So it was a major launch to bring this to the market for our, co our customer base. Tier four was a major part of the reason to bring these new models into the market. Uh, we have to be compliant. That was, again, only a small part of the technology that we bring into these machines. Kleeman are very innovative. They just don't sit back, develop a machine, let it sit there, and sell it for the next 20 years. Every year since I've worked for this company, they continue to bring out new technology. So we're seeing it on the Evo 2. We already had a very good Evo 1 impactor. It was a tier three machine. The change wasn't just purely tier four. They brought a whole lot of changes to the machine, which they've learned from experience from dealing with the customer and dealing with the marketplace as well. And this sector also saw some interesting innovation. Metso, I think, had something. Indeed, an industry first, a combined crushing and screening machine. This is the first product of its kind that is easily transportable and meets uh, transport regulations. The main expectation for the product is contractors, multi-use contractors who move from site to site on a regular basis because of its ease of transportability. With this concept, the customer can save fuel, operating costs, transportation costs and do the same operation more efficiently because we are replacing two separate machines with one machine. And as with all other sectors at the show, the implementation of technology, particularly machine control, is playing an important role in this sector. This is a Track 10 uh, control for the T-Series uh, Cone Crusher uh, by Telsmith. This is the latest technology that we have uh, developed uh, to control the crusher and to protect it. We have this set up so that uh, we can display this across Ethernet or we have a Wi-Fi connection that we can display it even on a cell phone or an Android device or an iPad. This allows the customer uh, maintenance people or the supervisor that would be uh, coming through a facility or a plant to be able to uh, access the information without going to the control house and or do it remotely. Uh, via the LAN network uh, that they would have in place. Well that technology is really fascinating and it is going to make a huge difference to this sector in reducing downtime and that was something that Terex were focusing on pretty heavily when they're talking about reducing that downtime but also speeding up the setting up of the machinery. We have a few machines here we're launching in the market this year. We're now seeing a requirement for the recycle side of the market and therefore we're trying to develop machines that can work not only in the aggregate sector but also then in the recycle sector as well. Warrior 2100, new design, designed not only for the aggregate sector but also for the recycle sector. Setup time, we're on about 15 minutes. Got two new products that we've launched, uh, the 1170R jaw crusher. We also have our new three deck uh, 684 screen plan and this is quite a unique product for us uh, where we've gone 
from our traditional five foot wide screen boxes to a five foot seven wide design. And improving the environment where aggregate production is working is important and we're seeing a lot of places in the world now that are requiring the dust to be dampened down. And I was quite fascinated to see one company here, Dust Boss, showing how they worked. This is the DB100. It's a machine that makes a mist. You throw it out 100 meters. It sits there and oscillates 359 degrees and it cover about 288,000 square feet. Everybody, they see this dust as a problem. We've taken a, a, a proactive approach. We went out there and taken and put these misting machines over top of all kinds of different areas and we have helped a lot of companies stop all of this dust problem. Thanks for watching Construction TV. I'm Simon Gould. I'm Alan Peaford. Goodbye. Cheerio.